Soccer 605, we're here with Jen Slater Unruh, who's president of Sioux Falls Adult Co-Head and South Dakota Adult Soccer. Correct. Got it right. Um, pretty excited to have the fourth, fourth annual Prairie Hills Invitational going on right here at O'Gorman, right in the public eye. That's, it's awesome. we uh grown every year. Um, we have seven co-ed teams this year. Seven team schedules, not fun to write, but it's yeah. exciting to have, you know, seven full squad teams. Yeah, and you're in a position right now with a seven, seven team schedule that if, if the stars fall just right, you could have two teams tied for points that haven't played each other, right? That's correct. So that'll be a little interesting. You'll be going down to some further criteria. So tell us a little bit about the Prairie Hills Invitational, Jen, how it got started, who's, who's supporting it? Well, it started four years ago, and when we um, got our state reorganized, we um, became incorporated, and part of being an incorporation is you have to provide a service to the state. And so, like most states, we provide a state tournament, and so we just kind of built from being very small. And we started with, I believe it was two co-ed teams when we started, and three men's teams or four men's teams, so um, we've grown every year, team-wise. Yeah, getting more and more co-ed teams. Um, hoping to get some more co-ed teams from around the state involved as well. Right. We do have quite a few players from Rapid playing this weekend. They're just in on teams from Sioux Falls. So. And that works? That works great. As long as they're playing, right? That's right. And then they can bring that word back to uh, Rapid City or wherever they're from and put a team in next year. So you guys have some sponsors that have, have been behind and, and helped support this in all four years. Who are some of the key, key people that have stepped up for you? Well, Gorman's really huge. Um, they let us use this facility. Um, one of our members uh, teaches here, so we are allowed to use this facility be as long as he's on site. So that's really huge for us. It's a great facility. Um, and what a great facility for visibility in Sioux Falls. Right, right on a major corner. Um, Gateway has been huge. Um, they provided the banners, um, so that's awesome. Perkins and Incas are providing food for us, so that's been great as well. Yeah, it's good to, ha good to have, keep your crew fed, right? Correct. <laughs> you have to keep the referees fed well. And now this weekend you've had a little bit of the issue of uh, World, Women's World Cup games going on as well. Correct. So I actually moved a game from 7.30 on Friday to 8.30 on Friday so everybody could go enjoy the game and then come back and play. Smart choice, huh? Right. So what do you see as the future for adult soccer here in, in Sioux Falls, and not only Sioux Falls, but across South Dakota? Are we seeing numbers go up, more participation? We're seeing our numbers go up a little bit each year, which is really good for a small state. We're considered a small state, um, but we go up about... A small state, not meaning the geographic size, meaning population. Meaning population-wise, we don't have the pool of people to pull from, but we go out probably about 200 players a year. We've won an award four years in a row from U.S. Soccer for increased um, participants, so that's huge. And they recognize the difficulty in a, in a smaller population to conti continue that growth. There are larger population states, large states as they call them, that are, that are not having that kind of growth, aren't there? Correct, and we have the, one of the largest co-ed leagues in the nation. Wow, that's pretty impressive. So how many teams are now playing in the Quad League? In Sioux Falls, there are 22 teams for summer. Wow, that's impressive. And it sounds like they're getting more going. We just talked with Tony Sabrowski. The Coed side is really growing in, in Rapid City as well. Yes, I think the Coed is a good thing because when, they, when the men get to the point where they feel like they can't participate in the men's league anymore, they come play in the Coed because it still gives them enough of a challenge. And, you know, it's hard, really hard to get a women's league going just because the women, when they get to that after college age, they start getting married and having babies, and that really affects their ability to, <laughs> to play soccer. Yeah, so if they can, you can pull together both genders and uh, have a, a really good Supreme Court team, right? Right, we've had a lot of success with our co-eds. Yeah. So now you guys not only have this tournament and the outdoor league, but you also have indoor. We do. Um, we run a spring fling tournament at, in April, but that's a Sioux Falls Adult Soccer League tournament, but we're looking at running a state indoor tournament as well. That'd be great because that indoor game is a completely different game. There may be people that are playing adult indoor that don't play adult outdoor. Correct. We have quite a few players in, in our city anyway that play indoor that don't play outdoor. So that, that'd be great to have that statewide competition there. Now the potential is here for this tournament to be designated to advance the teams outside of the state to go on to cup opportunities, isn't there? That's correct. They can advance from a state tournament to Tournament of Champions which is our region, our region, Region 2's um, region tournament for adults, and then from there the winners go on to is it the Lamar Cup? They can go to Lamar Cup. That's a premier mm -hmm. tournament, but they can also go to the amateur okay. championships as well. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to the day when we start sending teams to 
the what is it called? The other tournament? The regional? Um, the the of champions? tournament of champions. I can go. Tournament in. of yeah. champions. Right. Yeah. Looking forward to starting to send some teams there. Yes, that'd be awesome. Uh -huh. Well, Jen, thanks a lot for taking time with us at Soccer 605. I know we got some games we want to go catch up on here, but keep us posted. All right, thank you.